Hi guys, uh, this is a quick update to my previous video uh, what I made uh, negative ion uh, generator uh, using uh, ZVS um, circuit and uh, uh, flyback uh, transformer um, what I was thinking uh, later and I did study a couple patents and um, some research I got to conclusion that um, less um, voltage and less um, uh, corona will will result actually in um, a fair amount of uh, ionic wind but uh, less um, ozone will be uh, generated at the same time because I am not after the ozone uh, in this particular case I am after the uh, negative ions so what I did I um, I utilized the uh, uh, Cockroft Walton uh, 14 stage uh, voltage multiplier and um, uh, feeding that I used the circuit I'm not sure who is behind this it was either uh, was either lead motor or uh, well it could be uh, it could be someone else but anyway um, this is the this is the circuit um, I've used so whoever uh, discovered this idea they will know who I'm talking about um, anyway um, I, I found that I'm getting uh, a couple hundred, uh, close to a couple hundred volts on the output. I play with a different transformer and um, I was looking for something what I can easily get instead of uh, making one or making uh, uh, inverter. I just wanted something simple. and. Uh, in one particular which I found working pretty well uh, was just a standard uh, wall adapter uh, from 110 to 5 uh, volt um, so I used the transformer and uh, the voltage is not the greatest but uh, it's enough uh, after being multiplied to uh, get the desired effect I play with different uh, with different type of uh, uh, setup as far as the needles and the, and the jets and the uh, there is fair amount of uh, dirt flying in the air I guess which is getting attached to the metal parts and uh, as a result uh, they need to be clean and this wire uh, it's stainless steel wire um, I just I just cleaned it a couple minutes ago because I realized it was almost black and I just cleaned it uh, a day before so um, anyway um, I judging by the by the spark there is a there is a current limiter um, in in this line closer to the circuit there are two uh, five uh, mega ohm resistors so it's two mega ohm uh, resistance going to uh, to limit uh, current basically what I want I want to prevent uh, where is that screwdriver uh, I want to prevent any uh, uh, corona discharge and, and ozone but uh, I don't know if you can see it you know that's a uh, I'm holding the tip of screwdriver right now in about uh, 10 millimeters. That's about 8 millimeters. So there is a there is a fair amount. Uh, uh, the air is fairly dry here. So if we take uh, one kilovolt per one millimeter, uh, you do the math. So there is a nice breeze and. Uh, I know might be able to to see on a on a candle flame when I bring closer to the center you can see the flame is leaning outward
you can you can you can feel you can feel on the face it's a nice uh, fresh breeze and i found it's uh, it's cleaning the air and it's easier to um, easier to uh, breathe i have a couple of of them running right now in a different uh, places of the house um so anyway that's uh, that's uh, uh, update and just another way to utilize um, high voltage and i found that when we operate under 5 um, a thousand volts um, and limit uh, current then uh, we also limit possibility of having um, ozone which I am interested also but not uh, not uh, to produce in a, in a large amount to inhale but that will be another uh, another experiment anyway thank you for watching